Our top focus at this hour, Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi has wrapped up his three-day three-nation state tour to Europe. The trip ended with a meeting with French President Emmanuel Macron. The Indian Prime Minister was the first leader to meet the French President after he secured a second presidential term in elections last month. In the Paris talks, the Indian and the French leader discussed issues of bilateral and mutual interests as well as regional and global developments. At the talks that came amid Russia's aggression against Ukraine, India and France called for an immediate cessation of hostilities in Ukraine. In a joint statement, Prime Minister Modi and Emmanuel Macron condemned killing of civilians in Ukraine. The two sides called for an immediate cessation of hostilities in order for the two sides to come together to promote dialogue and diplomacy. The joint statement also reaffirmed the two countries' desire to strengthen the strategic France-Indian partnership, particularly in the Indo-Pacific India and France agreed to continue developing new partnerships in various formats. They also welcomed the recent launch of the India-EU Trade and Technology Council. The bilateral harbingers stronger ties between the two nations that regularly undertake political exchanges on global issues. India and France have been strategic partners since 1998. Both nations have strong economic partnership. France is the only country that does not supply defense equipment to either Pakistan or China. It is also a bilateral partner with New Delhi on Indo-Pacific. India has bought dozens of French Rafale fighter jets and six submarines. India also cooperates with Paris on civil nuclear projects. The two countries continue to deepen cooperation on defense technology and the transition to clean energy. The Indian Prime Minister has visited France three times since 2017, while the French leader went to India in 2018. Modi has invited Macron to visit India again. In a tweet, the Indian Prime Minister appreciated the French government for the warm hospitality. He said the visit to France was brief but a very fruitful one. The Indian Prime Minister's visit to the French capital concluded his three-day European tour during which he held a series of bilateral meetings with German Chancellor Olaf Scholz and Danish Prime Minister Mette Frederiksen in addition to Macron. And Bjorn's principal diplomatic correspondent, Dhant Sibyl, has sent us this report from Copenhagen, Denmark. Take a look. Prime Minister Narendra Modi's visit to France was short, uh, but uh, it was an occasion for both the leaders to meet, especially after President Macron got the new mandate, his election victory last month. Uh, on uh, the table, on the discussion table, uh, were issues like uh, civil nuclear cooperation, defense, people-to-people uh, -people relationship, uh, and uh, issues relating to global geopolitics, that means uh, the Russian invasion of Ukraine. On that issue, both sides exchange their own perspectives, something that we have seen uh, when it comes to uh, other capitals as well, whether it's uh, Copenhagen or Berlin. But largely, if we look at this visit, this visit uh, you know, comes at a time when we know that uh, uh, the French president has a new mandate and the focus is that uh, how the relationship uh, can be further strengthened. Also, France is uh, the president of EU's rotating presidency and it also provides uh, opportunity for France uh, uh, to increase engagement uh, along with the European Union. 
वेन इट कम्स टू डिफेंस को प्रोडक्शन वॉज वन ऑफ द की इशूज आत्मनिर्भर भारत प्रोजेक्ट दैट इज अंडर विच द डोमेस्टिक मैन्युफैक्चरिंग इज इन्वाइटेड बाय इंडिया इज समथिंग दैट वॉज ऑल्सो डिस्कस ड्यूरिंग द कॉन्वर्सेश ऑन डिफेंस वी सॉ द विजुअल वी सॉ द ऑप्टिक्स एंड ऑफकोर्स द ऑफिशियल रेजिडेंस ऑफ द फ्रेंच प्रेजिडेंट had uh, a dinner hosted for uh, the indian prime minister which was a vegetarian dinner hosted in the honor of prime minister narendra modi